Okay, so now we're gonna learn about bin packing. And in bin packing, we are going to pack bins. Okay. But only if the thing fits. So not like this, where it would not fit because the bin is over full. That's more or less all there is to it. Okay. The real life situation where this happens yeah. is where you're packing, uh, what are these called? Uh, car ferries. And lots of different cars turn up and they all want to get in the car ferries. And you want to make sure that you're doing it as efficiently as possible. So say we've got all these cars queuing. Mm -hmm. and we've got some car ferries and we want to know well what's the lower bound how many car ferries do we actually need yeah so as a really basic idea we can work out i've made up how long these lorries and cars are okay we've got a 12 meter one another 12 meter one a seven meter one a ten a five a six a four and a little smart car that's only one meter like that so if we add all of them up And that comes to 57, and or at least it would come to 57 if I'd actually written 12 there, which is what I meant. So in total, we've got 57 metres worth of vehicle, and each container can take 20 metres of vehicle. And 57 divided by 20, with a calculator, please, is something like... 2.85. 2.85. Wonderful. 2.85. So how many ships, container ship things are we going to need? Three. Three. Perfect because two obviously isn't going to work. So we need at least three. We may not be able to fit them into three because, for example, if they were all size 11, they would all need their own ship Yeah. because you couldn't fit two of them into one ship. But hopefully we'll be able to fit them into three. So that's the lower bound, that's the most basic calculation. Okay, then we're going to do first fit. Now this is where they all come lining up and literally you just put them into ferries as they arrive. Okay. So we're going to put the first truck mm -hmm. which happens to be seven meters into the first ferry yep and if you can keep track at the bottom of how much space we've got left okay. so if you cross off the 20 and write seven but uh, no 13 13 thank you that is what i meant 13 so that's how much is left yep. okay now the second one i think we need to yeah is now size five there's plenty of room here so he can go in there as well yep so that so then we eight. update that yep eight perfect Good. And now the third one's come along. Now he happens to be a 10 meter uh, mm -hmm. vehicle, so he can't go in here because nope. we've only got eight left. So he can go into this one. Brilliant. And then the little smart car comes along. Yep. Now the smart car can easily fit in here yep. in this first one. So we keep going back to the first one if we can. We've got seven left in there now. Okay. Now next guy to come along is a six meter little thing. Yep. So he can go over there. That's great. Excellent, we've only got one left now. Now our next thing is a four metre car. Obviously we've only got one metres left in the um, in the first ferry, so, but he can go in the second ferry, that's okay. Perfect, and we've got two more, and these happen to be massive big trucks. Yep. And they are 12 metres long. Now they're not going to fit in either of the first two no. ferries, but we can put that in there. And then there's quite a lot left in there, eight, but unfortunately this last guy to arrive is also quite big so he's going to go in there and that leaves us with eight so even though we had a lower bound of three yeah. when we use the first fit um, algorithm because of the way that they arrived we actually needed four ferries uh -huh. to to transport them across so that's obviously not ideal N better idea start by lining them up in order uh -huh. so organize them into decreasing order do exactly what we just did mm -hmm. but starting with the biggest one okay so we'll start by putting this guy in here Excellent. And next one. Perfect. Yep, he can't go in bin one, so he's going, well, not bin, ferry in this case, but bin is the usual word for it. Yep. And he's 10 metres, the next guy. He's going in ferry three. Perfect. Good. Excellent. Always look back to bin number one, or in this case, ferry number one, to see if there's room over there. Yep, perfect. Three more cars to go. That's right. Yep, we've only got very three left for him. I agree. Very one and very two haven't got room. And a smart car could go anywhere, but you always try and squish him into the first one if possible. Perfect. 
Excellent. So that's called the first bit decreasing. Start uh -huh. with the biggest. You can see you get a much better solution. Yeah. And we've got one completely full ferry, one with a, a gap of two and one with a gap of one, and we didn't need a full ferry at all. Mm -hmm. So that's really good. Okay, the third option, this is the hardest, but this is where you basically try to fill up the ferries yes. just using your brain. Oh, God. So you just <laughs> look at them and you try your best to fill it up. Okay. So in this case, well, obviously, we've got to stick this big, long guy somewhere. Yeah. Now, if he's in there, then we've got a gap of eight. Seven we, and one. We've got a seven and a one, exactly. So we can put the seven and the one mm -hmm. like this. And then we've got a full bin. And what we're trying to do is just make as many full ferries, bins, yeah. as possible. Um, if we take this 12 again and put him in the second ferry, yeah. is there another way? We can only do it with six. Yes, that's the best we can do. Has that stopped us from making a full bin somewhere else? Could we have made a full bin um, with what we had could left? Have done 10, 6, 4. Perfect. We and could have done there. exactly. Now, if we do that, we're going to get two full bins. Yeah. Whereas if we have it this way and put the 10 and the 5, now we're still using three ferries bins, yeah. but we haven't optimised the number of full bins. We've yeah. only got one full bin and two not full bins. Mm -hmm. Whereas if we take the 6 out and exactly put the 5 there and put the 6 there, then we end up with two completely full ferries mm -hmm. and one ferry with a gap and that's that's sort of a better solution in a way it's the optimal solution but that was the hardest uh -huh. and we actually had to think for that one <laughs> whereas we didn't have to think for the other two so um we've got an example here which is how we would actually lay it out in the exam okay so the lower bound you'd work out by adding them all up and dividing so yeah. do you want to grab the calculator yeah and i will write okay so we're doing actually i won't write you can just <laughs> type two add seven Add three, add three, add two, add three, add four, add six, add seven, add four, add three, add four. 48. 48, okay. Obviously, that is an opportunity for it to go wrong. Yes. Because we can read off it wrong or hit a button wrong on the calculator. What are we going to divide by? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve. We are actually going to divide by 12, but not because there are 12 things. Okay. If we look back at 12 there. Exactly, it's because the bins are size 12. So what we're doing is we're saying, if you look back at the cars when we did the lower bound, yeah. we wouldn't have divided by the number of cars. Mm. We, we added all of these up and they came to 57. Yeah. And we wouldn't do 57 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh-huh. Yeah? We do it divided by We 20. do it, exactly, because 20 was the size of the container. So if we go back to this example, we've got 48, and we are going to divide by 12, but because of the bin size being 12. Yeah. Okay, what does that come out as? Four. four, exactly four. So the minimum number of bins we need is four, but we might need more. Yeah. Okay, so if we start packing them, we do the first fit. Okay. So this is how you'd lay it out in the exam. You draw these little boxes, mm -hmm. put the 12 at the bottom to keep an eye of how much room you've got. Yeah. And we're going to start with the two. So what you do is you write... A, 2 in the first bin, and then keep a note at the bottom that we've only got room for 10 more. That's it. And you literally just go through. So now B7, which bin is that going to go in? Perfect. And then C3. Excellent. And then that's full. Okay, D3, obviously he's going to go in the next bin because the first bin's full. Yep, E2. Now there's seven left. We've got F3. Yep. And G4. We've got another have we got another full bin now? Yes. Yep, yeah, excellent. Another full bin. And now we've got H6. And I7. Yep, it's gonna have to go in the next bin. J is four. Does that go in there or that? Where where do you think? You're going to put it in the first bin that you this can, one. Yeah, exactly. The first bin that you possibly can put it into. Always going back to bin one, in a way, and okay. thinking, can I put it in there? And if not, moving along until you can get it in. Excellent. Yep, K3 is going to have to go there. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Now, 
as you can see we've used five yep. bins mm -hmm. we weren't hoping to use four that was the lower bound but first fit is never you know a brilliant solution so never works perfectly mm -hmm. first fit decreasing so we've got them in order yep have a go see if you can get them in see if we, this works as a full yep adding that's the hardest part of this and keeping track as well of where you've got up to excellent jay could have gone in that first bin so it goes in there yep perfect Excellent. Yep. Excellent. I agree with that. Very good. So we've used five bins again. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's arguable whether or not we have got a full bin. Have we got two full bins here? Yes. Is this one not as well? Uh, yeah. Yes, this one's not as well. So we've got two full bins, and in this previous where we did first fit, we've only got one full bin. Mm -hmm. So it is a better solution in a way, but it still is in five bins, not four bins. Maybe it's not possible to do four, but we're hoping it is. So. This is the difficult one, the full bin. Oh. We're trying to make them up to 12s. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Can I move them individually? No, no. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Should I cross them off? Yes, as I go? very, very good plan. Cross them off as you go. Okay, very good. We have one full bin. Another full bin. <laughs> See, the thing is, it may not be possible to get more than two full bins. Yeah. But it does get to the point where you can't see how to do it. No? No. No, I can't either. Start again and try it a different well, way. Well, the thing is, I mean, this is why these are really difficult. Yeah. Because you, it's similar to the other one, even if we managed, because we've got these two full bins, yeah. maybe we arranged them in a way that restricted, Yeah. you know, the options that we've got for the remaining bins. Mm -hmm. So it's actually really difficult to try to get these. Mm into four bins so we shall leave this as an exercise for the people watching the video to try to get it into four bins and see yeah. if you actually can see mm -hmm. if it's possible okay so uh bin packing um has got advantages and disadvantages yep and Okay, so advantages and disadvantages. So first bit is an easy uh, algorithm to use. You just put them in as they arrive, whichever car turns up first, stick it in a ferry. And then when the ferry's full, you move on to the next ferry. But we saw that every example we did, it didn't give a very good solution. So it wasn't a very optimal solution. decreasing was also easy to use once you've got them in order decreasing order you just whack them in the ferries as one at a time and it gave a much better solution every one that we did it gave a better solution 
but it still isn't optimal. Yeah, now full bin was optimal. Full bin is literally the best solution, but as we saw, it's really difficult, which is a massive disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, so now we have got one more example just for you to go. So I'm going to go, yep. And this is quite a hard one because there's quite a lot of things to pack into the bins. So have a go at finding the low bound, doing a first fit, first fit decreasing and a full bin pack. Pause the video now, have a go yourself, and then I'm going to put the answers up. So press pause now and have a go at this one. Okay, hopefully you have got the right answers. If you need to pause the video here so that you can check properly, yours should be exactly the same as we've got on the board here. So hopefully that's gone okay. If not, contact me and I'll help you. So, what could possibly go wrong in this situation? It's far too easy, nothing can go wrong. Surely everybody gets full marks all the time. Well, one of the most common things is for the number of things in the bins not to equal the number of things on the list. We saw that with the binary search as well, just literally copying a number wrong. Here's another um, units error, which is common in D1. So I was doing it myself. I was guilty of this saying bins all the time. And in this question, it was rolls of material or something. So you have to use the right unit. Something else that can go wrong. You wouldn't believe how much this goes wrong. Finding the lower bound and adding them all up wrong not dividing properly or not copying off the calculator correctly so all these little things you have to be really really careful of so if you want to pause the video and make a note of these things that are worth checking when you do a bin packing question and then move on to the next video